this is Nick from Arrows b and and in today's video I'm going to be showing this amazingly beautiful little waterfall that we painstakingly sought out and then eventually discovered. So I hope you're ready for it, let's jump in. We first came across the existence of this waterfall in a picture that was posted by a gentleman called Max Malloy. Unfortunately, there's a lot of people that want to keep this location secret. That is something that we ourselves considered as well, but we thought nature's there to be enjoyed by everybody, so we are going to make the location known. However, we do just ask you, please keep this place pristine. It is an absolute archaeological gold mine. Don't touch any of the fossils, leave them as they are. Don't take anything with you. And above all else, as it goes with all these sorts of things in nature, please just leave no trace. When we first started looking for this waterfall, all we knew was that it was somewhere in South Donegal and we were told it was located somewhere along the Sleeve League Peninsula. Now that's quite a lot of landmass to cover, so my father became absolutely determined to figure out where exactly this waterfall is. He wanted to find it for himself and take us as a family there as well. So this process led to weeks worth of reviewing all the photographs that we could find, all the videos, any footage that we can, and eventually we discovered a little mound in the distance which led to the discovery of where this place is. After reviewing a lot of this footage, my father luckily recognised a little rocky outcropping that jutted out to the sea, which he thought was this little rocky peninsula near Killybags. So we took a drive out there, lucky enough we discovered that is exactly the location where the secret waterfall was. That was the biggest clue in finding this which led to several hikes with my father and my brother around the area trying to figure out exactly where this thing is because even with that little marker it's still quite a tough place to find. Eventually they found a little walkway that goes down located very near to the pod or it's also known as Largy Point located pretty near to Kitty Kelly's restaurant just on the outskirts of Killybags. Initially, when they got to the stony beach at the end of this path, they decided to turn left and try and see if the waterfall was in that direction. After a lot of walking around along the seaside, they discovered that's not the way to go. Turned around. So if you are going there, as you come down that path, start by turning right, and you're going to be met with this view that you see ahead of you right there. I need to quickly put in a little disclaimer. If you are going there, I need you to know that there is a real risk of serious injury or potentially even death. I'm not saying that this is a real, a real possibility when you go into this place. The stones are almost always going to be slippery because the tide will have just come off of them. <laughs> I give her a hard time and then I'll fall too. Oh. Okay, like we said guys, it is slippery here. Bear that in mind when you come here. <laughs> There's nothing else I can say about that. If you do come here, make sure you have really good hiking boots. It's very slippery rock. A lot of it is covered with moss. Just something to be aware of. If you are not very able-bodied, this might not be the, the, uh, the, the adventure that you guys are looking to, to do yourselves. Just If you are coming here, come in a group of two or three of you. Look after each other's safety. Pretty short little cave behind us right there. Doesn't go in too deep, but it is quite pretty. Um, if you do come here, like I was just saying, make sure if you're going to be walking, walk on these little shells that you see. Those little guys are absolutely going to be your friend. They give you grip where nothing else does. So we're going to walk out towards the sea, climb up a ledge, and that's apparently going to take us to this waterfall. But the real threat comes in the form of the tide. If you are going there, you have about a two hour window at the absolute lowest of tide. So you want to be there for about half an hour to an hour before the tide is fully out. That's going to give you a window of about two hours to go to this waterfall, enjoy it, get any photographs you wanted to, then you do need to head out before that tide starts coming back in. The reason I really stress this is that is not a place you want to be caught when the tide rolls back in. There isn't any place to seek refuge or anything like that. If the tide does roll in, you're going to be on exposed rock 
there's only steep cliffs on either side of where that beach is, you're going to be left in the ocean and it's not a ocean that you want to be left in. Because of the natural rocks around there, you're going to have a lot of crashing waves as well. Make sure if you do go there, you're out of there well in advance of that tide rolling in. It's something I cannot stress enough. If you are looking to go to this waterfall and you are booking in to Ares Bed and Breakfast, we will absolutely help you understand exactly when the right time is to go, how to deal with the tides, what you're going to need to take with you in terms of footwear, outerwear, all those sorts of things. It's not a particularly long hike, so you don't need to take excess water or anything like that. You're going to be there for about an hour at the most, an hour and a half. Are we doing it? Are we going into this waterfall? My family's going to be really angry, but I'm doing it because you get one shot in life and things like this is what life is about. You've got to live a little bit, don't you? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so great, we're doing it. <laughs> Woo! Joined this little adventure today by my family and my brother Christopher. I want to introduce you to my brother and see what he had to think of this waterfall adventure today. What an amazing adventure, Nick. Quite a secret, this little place. Uh, not the usual run of the mill touristy activity, not really promoted. It's a place of solace, really, where you can find and explore, self explore this area. Beautiful waterfall behind us. Wonderful geological uh, formations out here. And for the geologists, amongst you, uh, self-discovery of uh, a few more fossils. So we just found a really, really good patch for about 20 fossils in less than half a square meter. Have a look at this. And for those who want something out of the run, out of the, out of the ordinary, come out here and have a, have a look. Now we can help you at Aras, Aras Ben Conquil. We can uh, point you to this place, uh, book in with us. And uh, come out for a lovely day, whether it's in winter like we've come out today, it's a winter's day, short days out here. Um, but come out during low tide. Low tide is where you get easier access to and from this place. You've probably got about a two hour window to get here and back. Uh, or in summer, in summer is beautiful. Uh, beautiful sunny days, long days. And you might even get two opportunities to come out here per day. So uh, check in with us and um, we'll maybe point you to where this is. If you're looking to visit this waterfall, make sure to add Arrow's Bed and Breakfast to your list of places to stay. I will put the link down in the description below. We're located just a short drive away in the town of Glen Column Kill, County Donegal in Ireland. We're a family run bed and breakfast offering a really homely feel in the heart of rural Ireland. We'll happily show you how to get to this absolutely beautiful waterfall and we also give out really helpful little guides that show you how to get to local attractions, what there is to do in the area. They go really in depth showing you all the directions, everything you need. We will we'll give you one of these for this location as well if you book in with us. Be sure to check out the rest of our videos of things to do in and around Glen Column Kill and the rest of County Donegal. And lastly, if you like this video, please like and subscribe or share this with anybody that you think would like to see this video themselves. It really does help our little family business grow and become a little bit more recognized. Lastly, thank you for watching the video. We hope you have a great day. Take care.